Today we're learning how to graph lines in standard form ax plus by is equal to c. In the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b, m is the slope and b is the y intercept. When we're graphing the slope, we need to use the concept of rise over run. And the y-intercept is the point 0b where the graph crosses the y-axis. That means the y-intercept occurs when x is 0. Here are the six examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number 1 x plus y is equal to negative 3. The first thing that we need to do here is rewrite the equation in slope-intercept form. Isolating the variable y on the left side, we need to subtract x to both sides of the equation. x minus x is 0, so left side will be y, and right side is negative x minus 3. Or the same thing as y is equal to negative 1x minus 3. So since it is now in the form y is equal to mx plus b, what do you think is the slope m and the y-intercept b? The y-intercept here is negative 3, and the slope is negative 1, or the same thing as negative 1 over 1. Write m as a fraction to make it easier in graphing. To graph this line, we will begin first with graphing b is equal to negative 3, or the y-intercept negative 3. From this negative 3, we need to graph the slope negative 1 over 1, which means 1 down and 1 to the right. So we go 1 down and 1 to the right. You can add more points by doing 1 down, 1 to the right. Now let's connect the points. So this is the graph of x plus y equals negative 3, or y is equal to negative x minus 3. Question number 2. 2x two plus y is equal to 4. Isolating the variable y, step 1 is to subtract 2x to both sides. 2x minus 2x is 0, so we will have y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So it is now in the form y is equal to mx plus b. So what do you think is the slope m and the y-intercept b? The y-intercept is 4 and the slope is negative 2 or negative 2 over positive 1. So to graph this, we will begin with the y-intercept 4. And from this 4, we need to graph the slope negative 2 over 1. Negative 2 means 2 down, and then 1 to the right. So from positive 4, we go 2 down, and 1 to the right. 2 down, 1 to the right, 2 down, 1 to the right. You can add more points to make the graph accurate. Now, using a straight edge, connect the points to draw the line. So this is the graph of 2x plus y equals 4, or y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. Question number 3. 10x minus 3y is equal to 15. Isolating the variable y, we need to subtract 10x first to both sides. Then we will have negative 3y is equal to negative 10x plus 15. Then we need to divide each term by negative 3. Negative 3 by negative 3 is 1, so we have 1y. Negative 10 over negative 3 is positive 10 thirds. 15 divided by negative 3 is negative 5. So the slope is 10 over 3, and the y-intercept is negative 5. To graph this line, we will begin with the y-intercept negative 5. From the y-intercept negative 5, we need to graph the slope 10 over 3, which means 10 up and 3 to the right. So from negative 5, we go 10 up and then 3 units right. And then connect the points to draw the line. So this is the graph of y is equal to 10x minus 3y equals 15, or y equals 10 thirds x minus 5. Question 4. 
Solving for y, we subtract first 7x to both sides. So we will now have y is equal to negative 7x plus 5. So it is now in the form y is equal to mx plus b. What do you think is our slope and the y-intercept? Our y-intercept is 5 and the slope is negative 7 or negative 7 over 1. Graphing this, we will begin with the y-intercept 5. From 5, we need to graph this slope negative 7 over 1, which means 7 down and 1 to the right. So from 5, we need to go 7 down and then 1 to the right. Now let's connect the two points to draw the line. So this is the graph of y is equal to negative 7x plus 5. Question number 5. 3x plus 5y is equal to negative 5. Isolating the variable y, we subtract 3x first to both sides. 3x minus 3x is 0, so we will now have 5y is equal to negative 3x minus 5. Next, we need to divide each term by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we will have y is equal to negative 3 over positive 5x, negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. So what do you think is the slope and the y-intercept? The slope is negative 3 over 5, and the y-intercept is negative 1. So to graph this, we will begin with the y-intercept negative 1. The slope is negative 3 over positive 5. This means we need to go 3 down, and then 5 units to the right. So from negative 1, we need to go 3 down, and then 5 units to the right. Or you can also go 3 up, and then 5 to the left. Now we need to connect the three points to draw the line. And this is the graph of y is equal to negative 3 fifth x minus 1. Question number 6. x is equal to 5. Is this a vertical line or a horizontal line? x equals a constant is a vertical line. So we need to go to the x-axis and look for x is 5. We have 5, 0, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, negative 1, 5, negative 2, and so on. So now we can draw a vertical line passing through x is equal to 5. Thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.